It's the face I always want to see. Welcome back, baby. Thanks for the pep talk. Are you kidding me? How many times have I been on the receiving end of one of those from you? Besides, it's nothing you don't already know. And just to be clear, I mean, it was, it was David taking us on, right? I mean, we've traveled thousands of miles. We've missed all those years. And we're still here. Damn straight. Jesse, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I do know this. I am a hundred times more blessed even without my sight. I have a loving family, a wonderful husband, and a new baby on the way. And yes, plenty of fight left in me to still stand my ground with David. Somehow. You won't be standing alone. And God help anyone who gets it our way. <laughs> I know you and Angie have been friends. She saved my life. Something the two of you have in common. And she and her husband have been spending the last few years trying to ruin mine. But they haven't, David. You've won. Jesse had a fight to get his job back, and Angie is going blind. What more do you want? I haven't decided yet what I want to do with Angie. Oh, I'm sure it'll be suitably diabolical. What am I supposed to do? Give her a free pass? No harm, no foul? You could if you wanted to. She covered up worse. You're angry, David, and maybe you have a right to be, but there's an opportunity for you here. If you could just take a step back and look at it. To do what? Surprise people. This whole town will be expecting you to crush Jesse and Angie for everything they've done to you. Don't give them what they're expecting. In other words, be the better man. Yes. Greenlee, that sounds very odd coming from you. Considering... You're a complicated man, David. That's probably one of the reasons I was drawn to you in the first place. You can be heartlessly cruel, manipulative, vengeful. Yet, the same person who brought me back from death's door. You sat by me for a year and you nursed me back to health. That's the better man I knew. That's the man that I know is still there underneath it all. Don't disappoint me. Leave Angie alone. Do you know how many people I've been able to trust in my life? I can count all of them on one hand and still have fingers left over. But to hear you talk about your faith in me, Greenlee, I want to trust that. But after everything that I've done to you, after literally blackmailing you into staying with me, you can still see that. Still see that better man in me. All we need is a little time. And a little trust and we can get back to where we're supposed to be. Do you really believe that? Yes, I do. I have to. 